So an eight rounder. And Derry Matthews will want no slip ups tonight. And uh, more than anything, he won't want to get any sort of a cut. No, not at all. Is it? You just got to be clever. Like he was against Adam Dingsdale, you got to be clever, patient. No, that's a, a, a critical a, a Derry. He's, he's a guy who wears his hat on his sleeve. You know, he's a, a fighter's man. So sometimes he, he goes in a battle when he should, when he should usually play in a box more. But it's, I think Adam, Adam Dings there, he's done that. He, told, he stuck to a pattern, stuck to a plan, and boxed very, very conservative. And he started nice and confidently here. Mizze, who fought Emiliano Marsili couple of occasions lost on points and then was stopped in seven you might remember that Marcelli also had a victory against Matthews in seven rounds but he's also been over here and lost to Anthony Crawler on points lost to Scott Harrison Tom Stalker Bradley Saunders Terry Flanagan so yeah he's been here and he's acquitted himself okay but he shouldn't be good enough to really trouble Matthews no. Marcelli by the way is still undefeated <laughs> yeah, you've still got that undefeated yeah, record. It's unbelievable, it? isn't it? Hasn't got a world title shot yet, but you know, we won the. You know, we got beat by a good fella, Derry, there. I just want to say that the, the, the young girl wearing, holding the belt up at Derry's in the corner, is named Ashley McFarlane, and she took Tete on the pads. He actually requested uh, 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 she take on the pads. I went back the other day as well and I asked again. She's a young girl making her way in boxing. Apparently, she's an expert pad. Had to take a world champion on a pad is, is something special. A week of a fight as well. It's good work by Daddy. Do you know what? He, he, he looks. He, I know he's not a world champion. Yeah, he's not a world champion, but he's boxing like a man with that sort of confidence. No, he's no, he's got that world title shot. No, no, he's got the opportunity to fight for that holy grail that every boxer wants to wants to compete for. Well, he might have been he's dreaming for the He might have been hacked off at losing that that date tonight when he was hoping to have his world title shot, but it might just have done a bit of a favour. Yeah, you know, it gives him that yeah, little bit yeah, longer yeah. just to think about it and to fathom out what he's got up against him. Because Ab I mean, Abriel's a decent fighter, isn't he? No, Abriel's right. more than decent, John. He, he's very good. He's tricky. He wins on the road all the time. He always goes in against. He always goes in against the favourite in their backyard, and you know, comes up the winner most times. Well, it's going to be a, a huge ask for Derry Matthews to pull that off, but I think there'll be this place should be rammed for that. I would imagine. Yeah. He's enormously popular here in Liverpool, and it would be a, a bit of a fairy tale if he were to, after his roller coaster career, if he were to eventually, as you as you put it, achieve the holy grail of that world title. Well, here he is. As ever in the corner with the Vaughans. Yeah. Yeah, you're moving your feet in a bit quicker now off the jump. Double jump right hand, keep him straight for now. When you get your feet in, you start using that right hand on the side, yeah? But try not to get too tangled yeah, up yeah. Them, you know what I mean? They get a little bit close and watch your head, so you've got to be careful. But make yourself a little bit bigger, snap your with the jump, a little bit less slow, but yeah. then you're only in second gear, so let's start getting the ball. You see, you've got a double jab and straighten that right hand up. Jab, jab the body, right hand on the side, right over there. Okay, how are you feeling? She's out there. Okay. Okay. Feel alright? Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
and tonight his 35th fight. He's certainly been busy. <laughs> Went the distance with Anthony Crawler in, in Dublin last November. The six rounder. Scott Harrison and Bradley Saunders both stopped him. Good one, nice fast hand, jabbing him to the other fellow through the jab, quick left hook on the top. Got a little bit close there, Matthews. There's a gym in Liverpool away from boxing, Derry. Very successfully yeah, as well, I think. Yeah, yeah, he's having, I think he's doing really very well as well. Nice body shot. Solid yeah, right hand. Just left the right hand on, though, and then got caught with a little left hook. And again, then caught with the left hook. And again. Just dropping that, that right hand, Betty Matthews. I'll be having a word with him. Yeah. He boxes another tall range if I did in Abril one come uh, come April. You're dropping your hands in dis no in distance or when you think you're out of distance. Hey! Somebody's gonna have to rectify. Referee just having a word as you can see for use of the head. And again with the left hook there, the Hungarian. Not enough to keep winning the wrong for the Hungarian, but he had enough sort of warning signs there with that, that decent left hook of his. Well, that's two rounds completed. Let's once again join Alex, who is with Peter McDonough. Who has spent more rounds in the ring with Derry Matthews than anyone else in recent uh, weeks. How's he been looking? Yeah, he's been looking very good. I mean, a bit of bad news, obviously, the world title fight was off. But uh, How do you take that? He found it hard for a couple of days, but he's a professional, he's had a lot of fights now and he just fought six weeks' time, he's back in there for that, so just a good performance tonight, that's all he needs. And in a strange way, is this quite a good opponent for him, given April 18th just around the corner? Yeah, most definitely, similar to Abra, a mover, jabber, try and mess him round, but I think Derry's boxing well tonight, you know? And what's the next move, what happens yeah, after tonight for Derry? Three days at home, and then back straight back out to Marbella and locked away again for another five weeks. Excellent. And then we count down. Back here, April 18th. So we continue with the third round of this eight-rounder. And Derry Matthews, well, he's taken the first two, hasn't he, Barry? No, he has, yeah. There's enough warning signs. And I'm saying about the, the, the good preparation for Avril. Avril's ten times better than his fella, but the reach and the height. Because Avril has a three-and-a-half reach advantage over Derry Matthews. So... Boxing the guy who has a bigger weak defence is, 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 is a nice little practice for him. But dropping that right hand, just noticing that on us, and he got caught with the little four left hooks. So it's something, you know, you can't make those sort of mistakes in world title fights, you'll get punished. And I'm sure he won't. Well, he'll be absolutely on his metal when it comes to that night. I guess it's difficult to be absolutely at your, at your highest level against somebody who you know that you're going to, in all probability, you're going to yeah, be. of course, yeah, and, so, and also mentally, you're playing for the world title fight, and all of a sudden you're not. That's going to have an effect. Again, see with the left hook. He's dominating everything, and he's not, he's not hurt with that shot, he's not worrying him in the slightest. But some of the Derry's experience should be getting caught with the same punch repeatedly. high risk strategy to take a fight so close to a big night like that it, it is but then you've got to think if you don't take it you're out for another month again and I, I can't remember when his last fight was exactly was well April 18th is the next one he's got coming up isn't it oh you mean the one before yeah, yeah October so you yeah. know all of a sudden it's a long time you're out so I think you know I think he was wise to take it it's a nice meaty looking right hook
But I think the last fight for Matthews was one of his better, one of his better displays. Adam he really himself. controlled. Yeah, he really controlled. Didn't take any any risk, any risks. And that win against Martin Gethin prior to that. Yeah, he looked good against Dingsdale. That's good. I'm glad he's using the jab a little bit more. That's better for him. He got a beautiful jab, Daddy. Oh, nice right hand as well. Just stepped a little bit too close there after, but it was good work before that. Just a reminder that the main event comes up after this fight. Zelani Tete against Paul Butler for the IBF World Super Flyweight title. Let's get back to that jab. Third round of this eight rounder. Well, he's controlling everything. Let's get it right. I think but when he used his jab there for like a 30 second period, he did much more better. He, he could break the, break the guy down with that. Get your feet in quicker. One jab, one two, one two left into the body. Start targeting the body a little bit more now. And everything we do here has got to be behind that jab. You're just walking in. You're taking fucking punches for no reason at all. It's here, you're not fit in. It's that jab. And relax. Well, that equates to a gentle wake up call, Barry. Yeah, well, I just think they're worried. They're not worried. I don't think anybody's got this who's going to lose the fight, I don't think. I'm just worried about him having a little bit of a. They want him to have a good performance. Don't want people to start saying, oh, you know, he, he struggled and shouldn't really be fighting for a world title, because that's a, what happens. A, and a good confidence boost him yeah, going into that fight, yeah. with, um, buoyed by the fact that he's come through three three fights on a winning yeah. streak and they want him to look good tonight. Well, if he didn't get the stoppage, it'd be fabulous, let's be honest. You've got to be careful not to. Not to try and push it too much, rush your work or overreach. And get chinned. Yeah, and get or, or, get, or get caught in a, in a scrappy affair, which has happened to Derry in the past. Let's be honest. Oh, it's good work, though. That's not class. He looks in terrific shape. The work he's been putting in over in uh, over in Spain's clearly served him well. Not to mention a bit of a town. Yeah. Too many of those in Liverpool at this time of year. <laughs> Just need a little little movement before he lets his hands go. Whether it's a faint, a, a little faint with the feet, or a little move with the shoulders, or dummy in the jab, or something. Just to, this guy draw draw this guy's lead off. Really put Matthews in any sort of trouble so far. Nobody, yes. Couple of reminders. Yeah, yeah. He's, you know, he's, he's, he's got a sharp left. There's no power in left hook. But he got a fast left hook. But I think he should be using his reach more. He should be trying to get his jab off quicker. Fighting back well there, though, is he? He also stands around about five nine, five ten. Right. Slightly taller than Matthews, as you see, as they lean on together. Matthews' 48th paid fight tonight. Way back in 2002 that he was the ABA bantamweight champion. Crazy, isn't it? He 
Ireland's pretty much out outlasted most of, the, most of the boxers of his generation, if not all of them. Well, that's another round comfortably pocketed for Matthews, four out of four. Yeah. And he seemed to uh, up his work rate well, nicely there. Stepping into the right hand now, yeah. Everything you're doing has to tell. Close the ring down, make him use his legs, cut the ring off, don't follow him around, cut it off, make it smaller. Bang it and keep that distance, don't check all the time. Jab, move in, one, two, back on it. And there you see some of the moments of Matthew's success from that fourth round. But the corner are right though, I think from, as we said in the round before, didn't we? just to use the jab, everything goes beyond the jab, just break him up with it. I think Gary's just trying to jump in a little bit, just a little bit out the range. Mm -hmm. He's winning everything, he can't really complain too much, but I think if he uses the jab a little bit more, a little bit forceful with it, mm -hmm. he might start breaking his guy's hand. So into the second half of the fight. Daddy threw an uppercut and put his right hand straight back up. Good shot. Oh, he got him in trouble now. It's a right hand and a terrific shot. Flush well, you said, flush. you said if he gets stopped, it's a terrific performance, and stopped he has been. Counted out, didn't get back up, and he's still unsteady on his feet now. Mark Lawson, the referee, counting him out. And Derry Matthews gets that morale-boosting win that he wanted. Good shot, Barry. It was, it was right through the guy, he, cut, he had to take that punch, flush, really good shot. He's practicing it again though. We've seen it there, it was a good shot mate. Here we go again. Push. Lovely. Right through the push. guard. Yeah, good, really good. And cut the guy, he's got those, got his hands up, opened up gloves, no wrong the eyes. It's a shot he almost didn't see coming. Good shot. And that's the sort of win he wanted, wasn't it? He tried to get up but he was unsteady and he's still not well he's still sitting down in the corner but for Benny Matthews he gets four rounds under his belt you know, injury free and gets a stoppage and it's good preparation and now the big one April the 18th yep that is what is known as a really good morale booster that's going to give him some confidence heading towards the big occasion Mise just making his way back to centre ring and now here is Mark Burdis. Ladies and gentlemen, one minute, two seconds of the fifth round. Georgie Messi Jr. has failed to beat the referee's count. So the winner in the blue corner from Liverpool, Derry Matthews! And a very nice, effective little win, Steve.